we call these numbers Arab numbers today. And their origins in India are completely forgotten. There's this period which we've totally forgotten about when the Arabs very openly and willingly took in Indian culture and acknowledged its sophistication. And this whole story of these former Buddhist abbots who became the viziers in Baghdad is a story which every Indian should know. It's an extraordinary Mm. moment. Indian mathematics, astronomy, astrology, the ideas of zero, the idea of a decimal system with tens, hundreds, thousands, hundreds, thousands, and so on, place value, along with a whole body of mathematics, spreads first to the Arab world, and then four centuries later, finally, at the very end of the story, in the 12th century, makes it from the Arab world to Europe. And the first part of that journey involves a extraordinary group called the Barma Kids, who were Buddhist hereditary abbots from Balkh in Afghanistan. And the Barma Kids converted to Islam. And the first thing they did when they became, when they were made the viziers in Baghdad, because of their administrative abilities and their facility with, with numbers and mathematics, they send to India for the works of Aryabhata and Brahmagupta. And a book that the Arabs call The Great Sindh Hind gets brought in 773 to Baghdad. Uh, and from that point, it's translated first by somebody called Al Fazari, then later by Al Khwarizmi. Al Khwarizmi was from Kiva in northern Uzbekistan, and he writes a book called the, uh, the Book of Hindu Calculation by Balancing and Completion According to uh, Indian Mathematics. And this is far too long a, a name for, uh, uh, for, for everyday use, so it's known as a nickname as Al Jabbar which is the basis of our word algebra, while his name, al Khwarizmi becomes the basis of our word algorithm. Uh, and this spreads throughout the Islamic world. And finally, in the 12th century, an Italian stu- uh, guy, a young kid, brought up because his father ran the Pisan trading colony in Algeria. He's brought up in Algeria. He learns Arabic. He learns Arabic mathematics as, as, it, as it is taught, uh, which is actually the Indian mathematics system. Uh, And he goes back to Italy and finds that all his friends are still trying to do MCV XV1 times VV XVC. Um, And so he writes a book called the Liber Abaki, which um, untangles, and that character is Fibonacci. Fibonacci brings, takes this relay race to its final destination, Mm. which is Europe. So you can argue that The kind of thing Fibonacci introduces, which is double accounting, uh, interest rates, the study of um, weights and measures, currency conversions, all this sort of thing leads to the rise of the corporation, which in the form of the East India Company, then comes back full circle to India. 